Hello, I'm Drago and in this video we're going to take a look at a free option that can help you build code faster with Cloud Sonnet. And uh, this option is free and it's called ZAI. Basically, ZAI is a competitor to Cursor, an uh, AI tool that uh, it's very popular right now and it can help you build code uh, fast. And uh, this has some similar things and uh, this is open source and right now you can use it for free and uh, you can uh, use Cloud Sonnet 3.5 with it. And this is their website. And in here you see, for instance, that they released the ZDI. It was released last week. This tool can be installed on Mac and in Linux. And in here you have the assistant panel that you can use. You have the slash commands that you can use to interact with files. You have the inline assistant that you can use to interact with the code. And uh, you have some uh, other options in here that you can uh, you can use and uh, we're going to check them so in this video we're going to create an uh, astro ssr website i'm not a very good developer i don't know uh, javascript uh, and uh, it's hard for me to manage the javascript and that's why i need some help because i have the blog built on astro and in this case i want to add some AI functionalities, let's say, to the blog to help me generate some, some things in, in there. And uh, let's open Z for this. And right now, if we're going to open Z, you see here that I have a project. It's looking like any other ID in here. You have the options to chat uh, with the AI. And in here, you need to be logged in. You need to have an account to be able to use these free options. And you see here that you have a huge context. It's like 200,000. It will help you remember and chat with the code. And in here we have the options. You see that we are using the Z1, which is free. You have the options to add your own API keys from cloud and from GPT. You have the options to use Gemini. You can use the Olama if you want to just install it and add the model you, you want. And it will be read automatically. And in here we have the interface that we are going to, to use. And in here I have a blank project and I will copy the code. So I ask him to give me a step-by-step -step on how to create an AstroJS SSR. It will need to provide me all the things that I need to do to have this thing up and running. And right now I will just start this and we'll see what he will provide and see the errors that we have and make this work. So I will hit command enter. And right now he will start spitting up all the details in here. You see that it will start with all the things that you need to, to do to have this configured, to have this running on the, on the server. And the first thing is to create an Astro thing in here. Let's go and create an Astro project. We need to open the terminal for this. So this has also a terminal and can run it like this with that to create the Astro project in here. And in here, we should use the options to create it. Let's wait and include sample file. No, I want to have this empty TIE script. It will be strict. And I want to install the dependence since I want to initiate an RGT repo. And this will go and generate all the things for us. Then what it will do, it will go and uh, install the Tailwind, with Tailwind CSS, the node for the SSR OpenAI package. So we can work with OpenAI. This is the configuration. This is the Tailwind init. And then we can add the Tailwind config details for Astro. Then you can generate the other file. So let's go and install this after this installation is finished with everything. It shouldn't take a lot of time. You need to have a node installed if you don't already have it. Let's wait for this to be generated. You see in the left side that the files has been already started to be generated. And right now we should have everything up and running. Good. And Let's install the other things, the Tailwind, Astro with Node, OpenAI, and then we are going to go to Astro Config and modify it. After this is installed, then we have like a good output. I will copy this. So right now we don't have any other options. So everything is installed. Let me go and copy this and I will replace everything to add Tailwind to be server in here. The other thing is to initiate Tailwind. For this, this will create the configuration file for us. You see in here that we should have after we are running this a Tailwind config file. And uh, then we can add the Astro details for this file because it will be empty. 
like this. It will tell to use the Astro files for Tailwind and apply it. And then uh, it will create an API directory for us under source pages. In here, we should have the API. You can use the make command, you can use the UI force like this. It, see, then you have the generate title. Let me copy this title. And in here, I have the code. And after this, we can go and copy all the code for this, like this. I will save it. And what I will tell is to use the 40 in here, like this putting an O in here. In here you have the prompts for this, the response code, in case it had help, we can enhance this. But we are going to see this. Then you have the index page. So basically, this is the layout. And let's go and copy everything into the index. I will replace everything like this. Then we need create an .env file to store our details in there. So I will create this file new file, I will create.env, I will put the API key in here like this, then I will go into the OpenAI and in here I've created a key in the platform.openai.com, you have the API keys in here, I'll just copy this like this. Then you need to modify the package.json, it will tell you to start this for build. What, what we need to change is only this line and in here you have the start and it will be replaced with this. So right now we should have everything and this should go well. We'll just only run the npm run dev to see if this is working. And let's see, I'm curious to see if everything is working. If not, we are going to troubleshoot this with this. So let me copy this and let me open the browser. Let me put a new tab in here. Let's hit enter. Let's wait a little to see if this is working. So right now we have a functional page with a title idea generator. We can generate the titles in here. Let's put Docker in here and see if it's working. Error generated titles, please try again. So it didn't work. Let's go again. And here you have the error. So it has like an error to open AI. And what we can tell it is to bring the terminal in here, the output like this. And I have this error. What shall I do? I do this. Control enter. Open AI later. It's installed. And he's telling us to modify this again because maybe it's wrong. Let me copy again the generate titles. And in here again, I will put the 40. So you see that right now it recognizes this. And uh, we should be good, I guess, with this. Let's try it. I will refresh this again. Let's see. So right now we don't have any errors in here. Let me actually close this and open a new one. Okay, like this. Docker generate. So you see that this is working right now and it created something for us. Let's see if we have any errors. We shouldn't see any errors. So yeah, we don't have any errors. So right now, for instance, if you want to work directly with a code, you can go, for instance, in here. And what I will ask him is to go in here and uh, make this page more appealing. So how you are working with this code, you just select it or you can select only a region of this code. What uh, you can go and do is to go into this assistant, inline assistant in here, and you can tell it, make this page more appealing to the end user like this. I will hit enter. And right now he will go to the code that it will change the code based on my prompt. And you see in here, this is what it will be uh, removed and what it will be added. So you can see in here what uh, you can, uh, what is changed. Then right now this should have been finished like this. I will hit save. Right now everything should be saved. And if we are going to check the page, you see that you have the layout that is different. You have this. and. Let's generate this and see. Crafting, and you see in here that you have a more uh, nice looking application. So like this, you can work with the inline uh, AI assistant for this. The other thing that this can uh, do and how you can work it. So for instance, let's go and have this title generated in here. And in here, what I will, I will ask him to do is to do the workflow, for instance. And with the workflow, you should be able to work directly with the code, please. 
and again like command enter and uh, right now he will go through the code and you see in here that it will go and add some other things like handling errors and things like that let's see basically this should have worked with this panel and should have uh, added the details in here but this workflow doesn't work i don't know why it's really working you see stop I, it doesn't work okay you cannot really interact uh, with the code directly again you can select everything and can tell it to go and uh, add a better error handling for this the other thing that uh, you can uh, do in here is to go like this you can go and let's say you want to add this tab you can put tab like this and you can tell uh, add more error handling and uh, right now it will read the file and it will go and uh, and check the file let me hit the control enter and it will tell you the details in in here with all the things that you can change for this to be to make it better and treat more errors you see in here you have more options for more errors again when you add it the workflow in the beginning it, it will try to use the workflow and show you what code has changed and uh, exactly to add it and modify it and again it's not working you see that this feature is not ac actually working at all in here even if you retry it several times so i don't know why it's not working but it doesn't the other thing that you have you have also an uh, ai for this uh, terminal so in here you can tell it for instance uh, print the b files let's say if you don't know how to run this command you can tell it like this you can do command can do enter in here and in here you see that it spin up the command for you and you can run it if you want and it will show you the files with the commands you can ask it anything you want in here the other things that you have in here so you have the tab you have the prompt from your library the workflow that doesn't work to put the terminal output with line count if you want you have the default prompt fetch to fetch some uh, url content you have the file basically you can insert any file in here and uh, it can you can interact with the tab and now it's for the current date and time so yeah right now you see that uh, building this basic application it only took about 7000 from the context so it remembers the conversation because it's using the anthropic cache which is very fast and it doesn't use a lot of tokens in their side so right now you can even go and modify your application some more if you want you can add other things you can make this to be using components and uh, props for this and uh, so on and yeah like uh, in this video i just wanted to show you how you can uh, how you can use the zai to work with anthropic cloud for free right now and build your AI application and you can take it from here and start building your AI applications so yeah thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and this helped you to understand how ZAI is working and yeah see you in the next video